This is my project. I'm holding a little stone, a grayish color with white dots on it in different tones. This stone is in an irregular shape, ideally matching to a sphere. Each dot in the stone are coordinates of a sphere. In a sphere there are endless num number of coordinates. This also means that potentially there are endless number of dots. Each dot is a representation of a creation of a user. Each dot is an authentic creation. A user is a member of the space who can create a coordinate point within a sphere. A user, the member, has also the possibility to own a sphere. Part of the sphere can be locked and unlocked. Each dot on a sphere comes from a point within a web that the user identifies as authentic. That is also the reason why the user has chosen to plot that dot. A dot is a point within the sphere, a coordinate point, which has unique coordinates. Each dot has unique coordinates. Each dot is a point within that sphere. Each point or the dot with unique coordinates represent an information source. Each information source is a data of type of different nature. It might be a textual nature, it can be an image, it can be a video, it can be a sound, it can be a different type of file, um, program, a script, whatever the user has pointed it as. It is possible that according to the nature of the point, the points can be specified with special characteristics. They might have different color, different uh, size or shape, let's say. A size is something else. Each of these informations, they are transformable, they are temporary, they are uh, so they're up to change continually, just like nature. The hypothesis is such that when the ideal coordinates unification, a mutual response within the web of things is reached and received and reached equally, then the user will be able to achieve a sphere. This is an hypothesis and is only can only be tested by experimentation. In this experiment, when dots are plotted, what happens within the space is we see that there is a uh, information source in the form of dots, but we don't see where these dots are actually coming from. In other words, we are not interested to the hyperlink if that dot would be a source of the hyperlink which is leads to. All we can see the dot does is a reflection according to its life. Therefore, that means each dot is a potential source of reflection. Reflection of color and sound. The color reflection, just like a soap bubble, is being reflected on the ideal sphere, which is not seen, but if it would 
be there, we would be the exact reflection on the surface of the membrane. So what we see is that part of the reflection, the luminosity, the saturation of the reflection, which is also temporary as long as the dot is there. And when I say what we see is a visitor, we are the visitor, we are what we see. This is a public view. There is not any non-public view within this. May a dot be locked or unlocked, still there is no uh, non-public view. All reflection is public. And also as said, all reflection is changeable. So the reflection which was here today, the quality of the reflection, the beauty of the colors, tomorrow is uh, different and that tomorrow can be one minute later. So perception of time is different within this web space. As visitors, what we see is a poetic collection of reflections on, on hypothetized uh, spherical surfaces. Just like a soap bubble, the bubble, the sphere, has a lifetime. Its lifetime is depending on how it's being maintained, as long as it's being fed, taken care of, as long as it lives by its user, it lives on. Its lifetime is not only about the involvement of the user, it also relates to users that interact with the user maintaining the sphere. This is a model of a data visualization software. This model aims to create an aura of the data and uh, data collections. When data differs in, in, in type, then the visualization of type is being specified uh, to show that it's a different type, none indiscriminately. The second part of this project is data presentation. The data visualization was part one, data uh, creation, matching to a coordinates of a space is on a rougher level. Uh, data is created, receiving the unique coordinates within a space, uh, which matches to a uh, per user to a sphere. This can be uh, multiple text, each text receiving, according to user's preference, uh, unique coordinates points. Uh, for the same spherical space, the user will be able to create uh, data types and be able to uh, present these data types, all data types, image, sound, text, uh, video, within its sphere. Reserved per user, which can be visualized in uh, different ways with the uh, uh, source of data visible, accessible within that space of the spherical space. One of the purposes here is breaking the linear uh, approach in blogging, the linear representation of information in a blog. 